what advice can you give for organisations to help them potentially detect if this group has infiltrated their organisation? I mean, the the real important takeaway isn't isn't so much about who the group is. It is, mm-hmm. it is what can organisations do to to do exactly that to detect this kind of activity early. Um, think about you know how would we detect a social engineering attack? How would our staff respond in, in those kind of scenarios? Do we have um, reporting pathways where people can flag malicious activity? So we, uh, I mean, we've been advising customers um, and others on on scatter spider style tradecraft for a long time. Uh, we talk about making sure that you empower your help desk staff and customer services staff that operate the phones and maybe um, focused on IT processes to uh, feel empowered to say no, uh, not to uh, respond to pressure if someone's on the phone telling you they're a, a senior executive or, or some, other in, some mm-hmm. other individual in position of authority uh, to not um, allow them to use that that uh, authority to try and pressure you into bypassing uh, the the standard process. So making sure the help, de- help desk staff are empowered and that they have a reporting pathway is really important. Obviously, things like using multi-factor authentication uh, is a very strong recommendation, but um, these individuals are pretty good at talking their way around um, e- even when uh, multi-factor authentication is in place. So it's definitely a necessity, but not um, not a guarantee of, uh, of prevention. And then on top of that, if um, if these individuals do succeed in getting, you want to be well positioned to detect unauthorized access, suspicious mm-hmm. access, uh, making sure there's monitoring in place to detect logins from unusual locations, non use of non-standard non-corporate VPNs, for example. Uh, and this might show up as things like impossible travel alerts, um, users logging in from new and, and unfamiliar locations, uh, that kind of thing. And then finally, auditing the use of high privilege accounts, domain admins, cloud admins, uh, things like that, looking for any suspicious or unusual activity, perhaps out of normal um, business hours uh, or doing things that, that they haven't done before. Uh, deployment of what would otherwise be legitimate remote management tools. But again, these groups don't necessarily rely on malware that much. They will use um, legitimate tooling that, that might not trigger security alerts, um, but would be unusual for that environment. And they'll use that to, to gain access and, and maintain access once they've they've talked their way into getting a password um from from somebody